Okay, hi. How are you? Have a seat. Okay, Mr. Bennett from Deutsche Bank. Here we have. So how many people have you talked to about this trade? A few. There's definitely some interest. Oh, my boss would have my ass. And you crazy, That's Jerry? Not Get lost, Jerry. Fuck you. Which is why you're here talking to us, a wrong number. Sounds like there's a lot of interest. All right. A few people have invited us in just to laugh at me on this deal. Is that you? No. Is that what this is? That's not what this is. That's just how Mark is. Let's see what you got. I'm sorry. You smell that? What is that? What? What's that smell? A cologne? No. Opportunity. No, money. Oh, okay. I smell money. Okay. Chris. God damn it. Sorry. This is your basic mortgage bond. All right? The originals were simple. They were just thousands of AAA mortgages bundled together, guaranteed by the U.S. government. The modern ones are different. They're private and they're made up of layers of tranches. The highest level triple A's getting paid first, the lowest rated B's getting paid last, taking on defaults first. Now obviously if you're buying B's, you can make more money, but they're a little risky. Sometimes they fail. Chris? Somewhere along the line, these B's and double B's went from a little risky Dog shit. Where's the trash? I'm behind you. I'm talking rock bottom FICO scores. No income verification. Adjustable rates. Dog shit. The default rates are already up from 1% to 4%, fellas. And if they rise to 8%, and they will, a lot of these triple Bs are going to zero, too. And that, you're too close, is an opportunity. Okay. You're saying that at 8%, the bonds fail, and we are already at 4%? That's right. If they go to 8 it's Armageddon. Yeah, that's right. How come nobody's talking about this? You're completely sure of the math. Look at him. That's my quant. Your what? My quantitative. My math specialist. Look at him. You notice anything different about him? Look at his face. That's pretty racist. Look at his eyes. I'll give you a hint. His name's Yang. He won a national math competition in China. He doesn't even speak English. Yeah, I'm sure of the math. Actually, my name's Jiang, and I do speak English. Jared likes to say I don't because he thinks it makes me seem more authentic. And I got second in that national math competition. So you're offering us a chance to short this pile of blocks? How? With something called a credit default swap. It's like insurance on the bond, and if it goes bust, you can make 10 to 1, even 20 to 1 return, and it's already slowly going bust. 10 to 1, 20 to 1, no way. And no one's paying attention. No one is paying attention because the banks are too busy getting paid obscene fees to sell these bonds. But wait, you are the bank. I mean, you work for the bank. I bet your margins are pretty nice and fat. Let's not talk about my margins, by the way. Being nice and fat, that's a nice shirt. Do they make it for men? Aren't you the bank? I work for the bank. I don't think like a bank. Big bank, small bank, I like to make money. All right? Let me put it this way. I'm standing in front of a burning house, and I'm offering you fire insurance on it. How can these underlying bonds be as bad as you say? It wouldn't be legal. <clears throat> Nobody knows what's in them. Nobody knows what's in the bonds. I've seen some that are 65% AAA rated, that I know for a fact are filled with 95% subprime shit with FICOs below 550. Get the fuck out of here. You want me to really blow your mind? When the market deems a bond too risky to buy, what do you think we do with it? Take a guess. I don't know, you tell me. All right. You think we just warehouse it on the books? No, we just repackage it with a bunch of other shit that didn't sell and put it into a CDO. A CDO? Yes, a CDO. What is that? This is where we take a bunch of Bs, double Bs, and triple Bs that haven't sold, and we put them in a pile. And when the pile gets large enough, the whole thing is suddenly considered diversified. And then the whores at the rating agency give it a 92, 93% AAA rating. No questions asked. Oh, say that again. A collateralized debt obligation. 
It's important to understand because it's what allowed a housing crisis to become a nationwide economic disaster. Here's world famous chef Anthony Bourdain to explain. <laughs> okay, I'm a chef on a Sunday afternoon setting the menu at a big restaurant. I ordered my fish on Friday, which is the mortgage bond that Michael very shorted. But some of the fresh fish doesn't sell. I don't know why, maybe it just came out. Halibut has the intelligence of a dolphin. So, what am I gonna do? Throw all this unsold fish, which is the triple B level of the bond, in the garbage and take the loss? No way. Being the crafty and morally onerous chef that I am, whatever crappy levels of the bond I don't sell, I throw into a seafood stew. See, it's not old fish. It's a whole new thing. And the best part is they're eating three-day-old halibut. That is a CDO. Well, I just no, need to know how these could possibly be collated. No, so well, somehow sorry, no, you're sorry, like the door of the explorer, and you're the first person hold who has on, found this on, thing. Hold on. So mortgage bonds are dog shit. CDOs are dog shit wrapped in cat shit. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Institutions treat these CDOs like they're as solid as treasury bonds and they're going to zero. No, it can't be right. There, there were 500 billion in housing bonds sold last year alone. The ratings agencies, the banks, the fucking government? You're saying they're all asleep at the wheel? Yeah. My whole department's long on this stuff. They call me Chicken Little. They call me Bubble Boy. A's. Zero. B's, zero. Double B's, zero. Triple B's, zero. And then that happens. What is that? That's America's housing market. Thank you. Fucking hey, Jared. Shut your fucking mouth. Hang out with you. Good. Okay. Back up, do the deal. Let's be friends. Okay. Thank you. Don't bullshit me. All right, you gonna say no, right? No, no, I'm just uh, evaluating right now. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Bye, Jerry. I don't like it. He's playing us. He's playing us. He's got too much skin in the game, and he's dumping his position. What if he's right? You want him to be right. Yes, I do. The banks have given us 25% interest rates on credit cards. They have screwed us on student loans that we can never get out from under. Then this guy walks into my office and says, those same banks got greedy, they lost track of the market, and I can profit off of their stupidity. Fuck, yeah, I want him to be right. I mean, how come you don't hate this guy? He's everything you taught us not to trust. I can't hate him. He is so transparent in his self-interest that I kind of respect him. Would I buy a car from him? No. <laughs> Is he right about the mortgage market? Let's no. find out. Let's find out. Look, it's two very simple questions. Is there a housing bubble? And if there is, how exposed are the banks? Yeah, okay. Let's get on this quickly, too, because if he's right, every loser with a couple million bucks in a fund is going to be jumping on this. Mm -hmm. Let's go.